Hello and welcome. Uh, in let's see. All right. So today we are going to do a, a lab in AWS that is for IAM, and you can see that it's about setting restriction or granting permissions. This is a two-part lab. Uh, this I did earlier, actually earlier in the week. Uh, I, so I was, later on I could not recall, so I was like, hey, why not make a trial and error video? This video is not as an expert. It's only for me to go through it and cement my knowledge. Let's start it. <clears throat> so basically, let me show you how the lab looks like. If you wanna go, big shout out to a cloud guru. I really like this course with them. I'm just taking it in my free time. So I'm gonna start it in my another la, uh, another window. So basically you get credentials on the side. So if you are seeing me entering any credentials, you don't understand, these are right on the side right here. Because uh, on this monitor, you're not gonna see almost half of uh this window right here <clears throat> all right so oh that's my actual account i don't want to log in there anyways let's go cloud user i hope that is the mm, nope a931 okay username password let's enter <clears throat> Now you can see these are a uh, student count. So I'm pretty sure these things changes, not, yeah, if they're not, I don't know. All right, so let's go. And basically you can see over here, so the problem we are facing is there was a di diagram as well somewhere. So what we're gonna be doing is basically <clears throat> setting up roles uh, assuming rules, setting up policies, like uh, if I remember this correctly, there were like three users. Let me check over here. Yeah, three over here. So basically, you grant some them some permission, revoke some permissions, and you can see in real time that that those users are not able to. So these are the instructions. If you want to follow in your AWS, you can go and have your AWS account totally for free. Uh, for one year basically so IEM is identity access management I and this basically uh, plays a major role in cybersecurity as well you can already see these are some things uh, made the basic uh, these are not made by me uh, since I'm running a lab environment so what happens is they are I believe they are what was it called cloud like there's a service where you can basically <clears throat> uh, enter code and that based on that code it uh, brings up the environment with whatever you have defined the endpoints ec2 instances buckets anything and everything users as well so if we if i go to go it shows uh, there are seven users but you can see these are the set, uh, three users that we're going to working with so <clears throat> let's go and follow the start following the instructions so in the policy this is we go to policy and then create a policy <clears throat> so over here because we are creating our own policy we're going to click choose and select which one we want so we're going to be s3 if we for example if we type in ec2 these are the services like basically we're saying hey our policy is going to be about this and it will bring up related codes and all that so since we're going for s3 so basically an x bucket access policy related and you can see in select all s3 actions so we're gonna three all access uh, all s3 x uh, actions and resources we wanted to select not all the buckets I remember it correctly 
So for the bucket, I'm going to tell you what's what it wants. Basically, it wants to give specific uh, ARN. So ARN is Am Amazon resource name, <clears throat> just like any name or, or IP addresses. So Amazon resources have their unique names. So we're gonna go to bucket and we're gonna get this broad one and broad two ARNs. For that, let's right click, duplicate, open a new window and search in S3. We can go to buckets and over here, we can see that we have few buckets and if we can read it it says prod one right here and prod two so we have to this is the name or ARN whatever you might want to call we can copy and over here ARN so what we're telling it is that hey these are the buckets that will be uh, this policy will be applied under so all the others by default since we did not select any so they are not uh, added <clears throat> no tags next reviews and we're gonna go for the policy so for the policy it's saying s3 restricted role you can do um, make any names but uh, from experience I have learned uh, it is better to um, name it with as much as information because once you have like 10 20 made like that's a small number but still you will forget and later on like six months later when you come and you will have no idea so it really helps to name them right off the bat correct or more descriptive so i'm just gonna put restricted rule for description i <clears throat> So I know this one is a role, but if I put everything as the S3 restricted, S3 restricted, I will know it's a bucket, it's a policy, it's a user, what it is. All right, so now we're gonna create uh, create the, oh. Uh, see, I made the mistake, I, put, I named it role while it was the policy. All right, so let's go here and see if I can change it. The name, 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 name. Let me actually pause it and see if I can change the name somewhere. All right, so I can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete it and quickly create a new one. Choose a service, same as three. <clears throat> all s3 actions and in the resources resources is basically what are the resources under this policy and of course there will be the bucket resources again copy this and the other one No tags, S3 restricted policy. All right, here we go. <clears throat> so next we're gonna go with the rule. <coughs> so for the rule, it's right here. And now we're gonna create a rule. So for this, we're gonna do the AWS account. I know that was for something else. Let me check. Mm, AWS account, yeah. Yeah, this account, so we're gonna copy this number and we're gonna sts i remember that 
that s3 oh still s3 and search for it ah restricted policy one thing i want to point out if i close it you can see all these policies we don't have this they are on top so these are customer managed or yeah customer managed. so basically these are created by us and everything that aws created the default policies are down so <clears throat> restricted policy we're gonna attach it S3 restricted, S3 restricted role and hopefully nothing else create role <clears throat> create role okay you have to click twice or something else yep I created it S3 and it just wanted to show you the bit where it's saying click on it and for the JSON you can see the 931 if you can see 931 right there so that is the resource that is allowed under you can see effect allow <coughs> excuse me so let's go and revoke the s3 administrator access policy to the dev run user so basically what happens is that if i I'll go through the dev one uh, i'm gonna actually try to go there the dev one uh, let's open a uh, no not here uh, let's open a where are you new private window so if i go dev one and sign in <clears throat> so you can see that it's basically restricted uh, policy role master dev one user so s3 administrator access uh, it, it has the administrator access it can go anywhere launch instances you can see here just to show you I have the options if I go to s3 <clears throat> I can go to the buckets and I can see all the buckets so if I minimize it and follow this I should not be able to have administrator access <clears throat> so customer data so customer data has two you can open both and you can see so even though there is no data but I have the upload options I can see if there was there were to be any data I would be able to see it same in the other one so let's go <clears throat> now we're gonna revoke it go back to the original you had open from the left side menu select user group was it this is customer data the other one is customer data so wait, what app config but buckets <clears throat> oh app config right there broad so let's see if I can X open it you can see I can open all the buckets Like I, I don't have any prompt error. I have access, I can upload it. So next, what it wants me to do is, you can see this is the um, uh, dev one in an uh, incognito mode. This one is my real one, uh, like the, uh, the actual admin account kind of. So in the original IAM browser, user groups, these 
the very top one we can see select permission developer group so these are the developers and I'm gonna click on permissions and we're gonna delete this one right yep delete or remove now it should be instantaneous uh, dev one if I were to refresh it I don't see any buckets I don't have permission I was already in let's see if I can check the properties I don't have the permission now I start getting errors I go to metrics I have the errors let's go access points I have the error I go to bucket for this user that uh, I can list the buckets why now I have the error so maybe it, it was just in the cache but now I have the error all right so <clears throat> let's go back to the original one now we can attach the restricted policy to the dev one user in the users and dev one I'm gonna click on it <clears throat> permissions that is add permissions now I'm good for the add permission from an existing user or an existing policy so <clears throat> this is the one that's uh, basically they want you to have this is the one that is risky if you have a lot of users but this is the basically this is how the word works <clears throat> now add permission add existing policy in the search bar type s3 you can see the it's not on the top now it's right there click and review add permission and all right so I have the policy attached even though I have this error but just ignore it and I have the attached directly and if again JSON JSON that's the JSON right there and if we can do this it says policy content allow s3 and if you remember for this one you can see app config prod 2 and prod 1 these are the two that are allowed and if I go away here uh, let's go right here let's actually <clears throat> so now I have attached the policy I have these two but you can see in for the access over here I have error and these are customer data but for the prod one prod one and two I have object access if you can see over here it's all errors so <clears throat> we can exit out of here that's exactly this line is saying I have access to config like I can show you open it for you so just like before I have access to both of them you can see I have upload option again uh, enabled for me and if I open the customer data I should have errors and I do have the errors <clears throat> let's close them next configure IAM so the user can assume the role so basically it's a user that will assume a role and it like the user does not have the permissions for it but it has the permission to go assume a role perform the function and then back out of it <clears throat> it's just like uh, if you worked in help desk you have two accounts you have a your normal day-to-day -day account and you have a super user admin account basically you log in through it to and you have a lot more powers but you don't use it every day you uh, do it use it only case to case <clears throat> now we can now log in with dev3 so for that let me 
let's get out of here. Mm, new private window. Dev pre and password. So you can see now I'm logged in as Dev3. And what it wants me is go back to uh, okay. It wants me to go to S3. Let's go to S3. And I don't have any permission. I cannot list the buckets as Dev3. So now, next. This is the original IAM browser window policies. Again, we're going to create a policy, and this time that is the SDS. So, so this time we're going to do the SDS, and SDS is basically security token service that gets you access to assuming a role now uh, sts assume role add rn action under access level excel level uh, read write to and select assume role okay write and assume role okay okay i, for, I had forgotten that part resources click add rn uh, S3 restricted role. Okay, I can. So over here, we can see it already has the full over here. All we have to do is just provide the name. So that's why I'm not copying the whole thing and just providing the name because I remember the name. <laughs> I added it. Next, we're going to go tags and you can see it's right there create policy <coughs> oh, assume s3 assume s3 policy so we're going to click on this right here we are uh, attaching it <coughs> Now basically not anybody any user can go and assume a role it's us as an admin from admin uh, account or panel whatever you want to call we attach it to them so when they need it they can go and assume it so we can as policy usage attach and for that we're going to use the dev3 right uh, yep attach policy so you can see nobody else all of these users they cannot only the person dev3 will be able to <clears throat> so now we're gonna go back to our dev3 and for this here is the one switch role we're gonna roll access create role switch roles switch role so we have the account number oh is it same i want to say it's same so for the one so I, this name i think should definitely match <coughs> and now you can see the name change over here and I'm in S3 and I have uh, buckets Y error do I have access to customer data no okay buckets I have access to the other so this part that is not explained uh, maybe it is explained 
is that I have errors I because we just gave it a policy and policy in policy we never define anything uh, so what we're gonna do is we can go to uh, IEM management go to policies oh right there I could s3 assume s3 policy we can go to its JSON and s3 oh no wait so that is just the restricted role and that assume policy so roles if we go to roles uh, restricted role did we provide it with the ARNs then it makes perfect sense I already forgot about that right yep that is why <clears throat> so it's assuming uh, the policy was attached to assume a role that was the restricted role and that is why we have access to these two and not these two because it is the restricted role. The other policy that we saw was S3. Uh, this is the assume policy that basically points towards this, right? So let's compare them side by side. So restricted policy gives access to these two and the restricted role. And that's the linkage to assume, assume S3 policy. And if we go to policies, and go to assume s3 policy how oh, roll so it's like we go in here in the roles are restricted we go to restricted role and that is where you can see it is attached that the permission that we attached to it was this one so that's how they go <coughs> you know kind of in a loop to get their permissions all right so it's it's been a long long video I hope this video has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next one